Should you be forced by the criminal law to buy a Sky TV package if you don't want one? And if not, then why should you be forced to buy a TV license from the BBC if you don't want one? Strong words from Conservative MP Philip Davies in the House of Commons when discussing the BBC license fee, saying that our review of the BBC funding model will consider whether mandatory license fees with criminal penalties are still appropriate. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a barrister of England and Wales and I help you to understand law. And if you're international, then I can help you to explain the differences in our law with international law. And in fact, if you are watching internationally, you may not be aware that in the UK, we have to pay a TV license fee to the British Broadcasting Corporation if, not just if you watch BBC, but if you watch any live TV or if you record any live TV to watch it later. And this has criminal penalties attached to it. It's a criminal offence with a fine of up to a thousand pounds for not paying the TV licence fee if you watch or record live TV or indeed BBC iPlayer. And that goes for any device, anywhere in your home and any TV company, any broadcasting company whatsoever. And there are some websites that are very good overall, so I'm not going to name them because I'm about to say something that they did wrong, but some sites that are very good on telling you how to not pay these license fees if you really don't need to pay them, sometimes suggest that even watching YouTube, you don't need the TV license. But that depends, because if you watch live TV via YouTube, then the law says that you still need a TV license. Although, what is a live television broadcast? Well, when I contacted the press office, this was somewhat an ambiguous question. For example, if I said, me as a YouTube creator doing live streams, they said in a roundabout way that it's probably not going to be necessary for you to have a TV license. But as a barrister, as a lawyer, not that I practice a great deal in criminal law, I don't, but I obviously can do if I wish to, and I understand the criminal law. But if you are to be prosecuted for a criminal offence, this should be absolutely certain. There should be no doubt whatsoever that the law is clear for you to understand. For example, if it was a drugs crime and there was a substance that the government said, well, maybe, but it's probably not. But we'll decide that when you've done it and then we'll decide whether you've committed the criminal offence or not. That simply wouldn't work, because if you went to court on that, and either with a magistrate or on appeal, and get a, a judge with two magistrates on appeal to the Crown Court, or if it was a crime that went straight to the Crown Court and you have a jury, there is a reasonable doubt, because if you didn't know what the law was, how can you be expected to comply with it? This is not, now don't misunderstand me, this is not ignorance of the law being no defence, just not knowing what the law was, at least it shouldn't be a defence. But this is, if the law is in any way unclear, then in my view, it shouldn't apply. Anyway, this very question, does the Secretary of State believe that people should be forced by the criminal law to buy a Sky TV package if they don't want one? And if not, why should they be forced to buy a TV licence fee if they don't want one? Does she not agree that both are equally absurd? Now, I'm sure any of you watching would find it absurd if you were forced by criminal law to buy a TV package from Sky when you didn't want one, much like anything else that you didn't want. Strong words from Conservative MP Philip Davies. You may recall that in 2021, the government decided that it was not going to proceed with plans to decriminalise non-payment of the TV licence fee, instead keeping the issue under active consideration. BBC previously warned that decriminalising the licence fee evasion, as they put it, would cost it more than £1 billion, lead to significant cuts to programmes and services. However, evasion is a very subjective matter because someone not paying the fee because they don't need to pay the fee is not evasion. Evasion suggests that you're doing something illegally, unlawfully, wrongfully. Whereas if you don't need it, if, for example, you watching this channel right now, you never watch or record any live TV, in the United Kingdom that is, don't need to pay for a TV license fee as long as you never watch or record live TV or use BBC iPlayer. That is not evasion. That is simply not paying for something 
because you don't need to. Now, don't misunderstand me. There are plenty of arguments for a national broadcasting service to give you an unbiased, unpolitical broadcast of news, events, and other programs. But there are equally strong arguments against criminal penalties for non-payment of a license fee. But as the news would have it, it is once again under consideration, and we'll see where this goes. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you for watching.